Bebê de pau. Everybody operates their own cameras. They're gonna break it, aren't you? No, so I can get in there too. I'm not playing. I'll just make a movie. Yeah. <laughs> I don't want to be pubby. It's just that they're scared, right? <laughs> Hey Jasmine. Hey Jasmine. Hi. Look this way. <laughs> We're like cheaper for the judges. It seems like we're like all one. You know we should take a picture. Oh, yeah. I'll go for two and just write on the yeah. right. cheaper vendors. You <laughs> should be like two more more of two more of the second Yeah. <laughs> okay there, guys. Yeah. Okay, there. Okay, Oh, that's nice. <laughs> you can you pass me in it? Oh, okay, wait, wait, wait. I gotta think this over a little. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> and the card thrown by Jasper. And, okay. and she gets a, and she gets a moda. Even Sonam is on Sandy's side. That's the tragedy. <laughs> hey man, you're causing fights between friends. <laughs> nice. Your, your sister is saying go Sandy, go, and you're saying nice Moda. How, how do you think Jaspreet feels? Oh, huh? sorry. Yo, how big are your cards? And mine are really big. They're high. <laughs> Dude, I just gave you a total. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> She's got all red. <laughs> <laughs> and the papo. <laughs> and the papo. Okay. Go, Sandy, go, Sandy. Go, what a fan. Yeah, She's got cheated. all black. No, we did. Sure okay, okay, okay. I was going to How could I cheat? There. I'm losing. She's got all black. You got all red. You lose. Yeah, do you seriously want to play? I lose. Terrible. I have you in the movie <laughs> saying. <laughs> Your parking meters validated. Because the driver and the way. Pick my own movie. Kasi Kalji, Kamalji the car, the Jasmine car. Magazine. In the bag, just follow donors. Yeah, don't say anything. I know, but bag, just follow. No, we don't want to spill out. And there's Mr. Brach picking out with the candy bag. Dude, I'm sorry, it's after your daddy. And there's Mr. Tej Paul Singh Kalsi. And we know his mom loves him. Oh, <laughs> and there's Sonam, there's Sargon. Oh he scared me. She's a <laughs> And there's Jasmine, and there's Gunvir. And we're ready to go. And there's Prithoda. 
Yes. Awesome. No, I see. Mr. Sitamad. Go to the middle. Why should you wouldn't win anything? Raymond is going. Raymond, shushu kare ho. Raymond, shushu kare ho. Yeah. He's gone. Super cute. And that's famous Tim Hortons. Da -da 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 -da. And that's Mr. Siddu's famous wife. Yes. That's Mr. Siddu's famous enemy number one, Sonam. Oh my God! I was like pointing at me. Because he's always dissing me. Always. That's Ganveer Singh. Sargun Singh. Oh, yawning. Look at that. What a shot. Smile. You're on candid camera. From the market, you must fill out one of these landing cards. So please identify yourself to the crew members as they come through the aisles with these forms. Madame, Mr. Zalon, Deputy, the descent de long très prochainement. Sur le yearbook. Right beside the runner-up is uh, Jaspreet Kaur, her assistant. <laughs> She's her makeup artist. <laughs> We had to bring her especially for Jasmine. Right? <laughs> yeah. London's first international airport and it's by far the largest. Uh, you're still in the airport area now and the tunnel you're going into actually goes underneath the runway. So this may well be where you landed. Rub your heads now. <laughs> Heathrow Airport is also the closest airport to the centre of London so it's actually the shortest transfer time. It's about 18 miles west of the centre of London and we're going to be getting on the freeway and driving into the centre of London. Then because of where your hotels are located, they're very close to each other, we are actually, you're going to get um, a bit of a coach tour of the sites of London thrown in. Hello. Close up. Close up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay, that's nice. I didn't, I didn't bring the camera, I was just here. This is just, you know, showing the sense of color, right? This is all happy. Don't show the sense of color. Hey, I don't believe it. Is that a Google? <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> Made him check. Hello. Hi. How are you today? Very well, thank you. Let's go. And that's the rest of the gang. Go, go, go. The Calgary gang.
Say again. <laughs> See, tell mom to look this way. Yeah, don't jump on the wrong side, guys. Guys, we're off on the next one. Next. No, this, this, is this is it. This is it. Oh, Shabra. Yeah. Oh, Shabra. Yes. Yeah. 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 Is Sonam sleeping? Sandy is sleeping. Sandy? Sandy? We're going to have to leave her behind. Just leave her behind. That's it. He had a bit of a row with the king uh, at the time, King Henry II. The row was about jurisdiction uh, because the church had the, uh, were a law unto themselves. Uh, King Henry II wanted to bring everybody under the same rules and regulations in the country, no, no exceptions. And this just developed into a row between the church and the king. And King Henry II was reputed to have said, well, nobody rid me of this turbulent priest. And a couple of knights took this as a hint, went to Canterbury and basically cracked open the skull of Thomas Becket on the steps of Canterbury Cathedral. It's, this sent shockwaves throughout Europe. It sent shockwaves through Europe. And uh, in this, this area of South East London, there were many, many taverns here. And one tavern, which used to be about what, 200 metres from here, was a tavern called the Tabard Inn. Have any of you read uh, the Canterbury Tales? Or heard of the Canterbury Tales? They're in charge of things like uh, transport policy for London. The, the building was designed by a man called Norman Foster. It's sometimes been referred to as the glass testicle. <laughs> if you look over the opposite side of the river, the rocket-shaped building was also designed by Norman Foster and uh, it's affectionately known as the Gherkin to us Londoners and apparently he got the idea for this building while he was taking a bath. <laughs> Alright. <coughs> so this is Tower Bridge, opened 1894. So we're heading to the City of London. Look to your right hand side, you'll see some um, big uh, skyscrapers. Okay, not as big as your skyscrapers in the US, but they're our skyscrapers and we love them. Uh, but you've probably seen these away already from your hotel. That's your marker for West India Dock. And I think you already saw the Tower of London yesterday, but the Tower of London, again, definitely worth a visit. Uh, this is nearly a thousand years old, 1060, just after 1066, this was one. built. It was built, as you can probably guess, as a fortress, as a castle. So, um, so these days it's used as a museum. This is where they store the crown jewels. What are the crown jewels? You, I hear you cry. Well, every time we get a new king or queen, we have a ceremony called the coronation. And uh, for that ceremony, there's various crowns and scepters and orbs that are used in that ceremony. And they are stored here at the, uh, the Tower of London for you to have a look at. If you look to your left hand side, you can see a stone wall. And now I know what you're thinking, you're thinking, Glenn, we've come 5,000 miles and you're showing us a wall. Well, when I tell you, that's the oldest thing you're going to see in London, apart from Mick Jagger.
Okay, so this is called Leaden Hall Market. There's been a market here for about six, seven hundred years. Uh, this incarnation of the market was completed in 1888, 1881, dates right up there. And okay, it took some bomb damage in the Second World War, but they restored it. And uh, so it was a market selling the usual things, but as uh, society changes, so these shops have given way to quite a lot of little pubs, bars, restaurants, and exclusive little shops. They like to retain some of the old. Um, some of the old features. So if you look over there on my right hand side, you can still see the meat hooks where this used to be a butcher's shop. This pub behind you called the Lamb Tavern. This has uh, seen a movie scene as well. There was a movie called Branagan starring John Wayne. There was a big fight in that pub. That was there. And also in uh, Tomb Raider number one, Angelina Jolie on her bicycle comes sailing through here. Now, uh, they also filmed the Harry Potter movie here. This was Diagon Alley in the first uh, movie. I'm just going to show you where the leaky cauldron was. <laughs> As we go across this little junction, you'll see a building on the uh, on the left with these giant columns and the blue railings. This is uh, uh, this is a uh, mansion house. This is the home of the Lord Mayor of the City of London. Just to confuse you, there are 34 mayors in London. Each of the 33 districts has a mayor. Plus, there's one that mayor from Kennedy. Mr. So um, we're going to get out and take a photo of stuff and tell you about St Paul's. But there are lots and lots of churches here. There's another one you can see immediately ahead of us. That's uh, like a legislature building. <laughs> right as well. There's 30, about 38 churches in the city of London. Remember the golden, city of London. I'm golden about. It's a very boy. small district, sometimes referred to as the Square Mile. Before, I'll talk about the Great Fire yeah. of London later, but the, before the Great Fire of London, there were 110 churches here in the city of London, in this small area within the city walls. And that's a lot of churches. Some 89 were destroyed during the Great Great Fire of London, of which 52 were rebuilt by a man called Christopher Wren. And um, then during the Second World War, none, none of these churches were destroyed during what was known as the Blitz. Again, I'll talk about that to the suburbs. So the church authorities started selling the land off to developers and building new churches with the profits. Is it the coin?
cage where there's people, you can climb to the very top of that column. So this was built in 1677 to commemorate the Great Fire of London. Okay, yes, yeah, so I do feel that song kind of... <laughs> Japanese! Nanda bashi ya chitta, Okay, so... So this is London Bridge, this is the fifth bridge. Uh, the fourth bridge is actually in Arizona. Uh, the third bridge uh, was the old medieval bridge which had uh, seven storey houses on it, it had a chapel on it, and it had a drawbridge on the south side. We're heading south now. And on the drawbridge, uh, they, used to they used to display the heads of executed traitors. Because uh, what they used to do after they executed people at the Tower of London, they used to walk, sometimes cover it in tar, and um, then stick it on a spike and put it on the drawbridge, the south side of uh, London Bridge is a wood. is a place where you will tend to find lots of monks who spend their days worshipping God, translating the Bible and worshipping again and doing more reading and more translating and worshipping. So it's an abbey in name, it hasn't been an abbey for 500 years. This is because a man called Henry VIII closed down all the abbeys up and down the countries in the middle of the 1500s. So it's an abbey in name only, to give its proper name, the Collegiate Church of St Peter Westminster. And uh, it's here, this is if you like the National Church. All sorts of events go on here, royal weddings. So the Queen herself got married here in 1947. So it's her 60th anniversary this November. Uh, other royal weddings. So it's in the family. <laughs> Seems to be. My great grandmother and your great great grandfather were lovers, so how about that? <laughs> 
Um, the guys with the big black hats um, are known as foot guards. There are five regiments of foot guards and they're big black hats. Oh. Canadian black vests. <laughs> oh, okay. yeah. Yeah. No one okay, knows why life is going down now. <laughs> Too many people here. <laughs> okay, what flag do you see? That's the Union flag, the British flag. If she's home, what flag do you see? The one what, sorry? What you see is a flag called the uh, Royal Standard, which is in four parts. You have uh, two of those parts have three lions representing England, and uh, a half representing Ireland, and a red lion, single red lion represents Scotland, the, uh, the uh, Royal Standard.